Yeah, we're tremendously excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's always exciting to start a new season, and I think that uh, this team uh, has enormous potential. Uh, I think somebody said there were 16 All Stars. 16 of these players have played in All Star games. Uh, Theo tells us that the mood at the camp is is exceptionally good, and people are healthy. So. We're, we're tremendously uh, excited and looking forward to, to actually playing the games. Right. How about you, John? Uh, yeah, I mean, how, what's, how excited are you for this, just for this season? Everything that transpired this month? Very excited, you know. We, is this working? Oh, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> can um, very excited. It's, it's, it was uh, one of those off seasons. You know, you make plans every off season, um, but it's it's impossible to predict what's going to going to happen. This off season was uh, uh, tremendous point for the for the organization on a number of levels, and, and uh, we, we accomplished everything we set out to. I would echo what John and Thomas said that there's a, there's a it was there was pretty definitely a, a feel of a sense of confidence, a sense of uh, optimism, a sense of, uh, of what could possibly be, uh, and you feel it the, when you first walk into the camp and talk to individual players. Uh, uh, the meeting today had, a, had, had that kind of feeling to it as well, but everyone knows that uh, there, hope, you know, hope springs eternal every, every spring. We got to make sure that we're healthy. And that, uh, and that the, uh, the, the good luck and the randomness of the game fall in our work in our favor as well. But uh, there's, a, there's a, uh, a, a, an atmosphere here that is a extremely positive, confident, and upbeat. Uh, that's uh, very encouraging. Will anything short of the war series be a disappointment? Every year we, we come to uh, to camp with the hope. Uh, we are the we are the Boston Red Sox. We come to camp with a sense of uh, high expectation, uh, but uh, none of us are crazy enough to to, uh, to take a position uh, like that right now. At least I'm not. So I speak for myself. Uh, I'm not. There are too many uh, other factors that play into the game. I mentioned randomness. I mentioned health, um, to team chemistry. You know, we'll have to wait to see how it, how it all comes together. But that's the, we have a goal every year, and that's to play in October, so we have a chance to be world champions again. John, you just, you just said the team accomplished everything you wanted to in the offseason. How unusual is that to happen in your experience? Well, every team has limits. You know, we have a strong commitment to winning every year, every offseason. But you, but you can't always do everything that that you want to do because you have long-term considerations and you have short-term considerations. Uh, the, the right piece for what you're looking for and the way a particular player in a particular position doesn't always match up, but this year it did. How concerned um, is baseball on the, uh, on the Mets and the Dodgers situation? Is that a concern? Uh, well, uh, our, 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 from LA. <laughs> Uh, of course, every uh, every sport needs a robust, uh, healthy uh, owner, healthy uh, franchises, especially in major markets. But uh, we're going to just uh, stick to our own knitting here and and uh, as assume that uh, those situations will be sorted out by uh, the owners and the commissioner. I'll just throw this out to you. Um, guys did more renovations at Fenway Park this offseason. You were more than point out you maxed out on renovations. Other than upkeep. Oh. You say uh, this is the end of a 10 year period right. of, uh, of renovations that uh, our, our, our owners have been committed to from the first year day. Yeah. Yeah. Are we still call you new owners? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I think you are. But uh, um, so this is a major final installment. There's some exciting things that the fans are going to see uh, this year, including the, uh, the three new video boards in, in the outfield. Uh, but um, this does represent the completion of that 10-year period. It's not to say that no money will be spent going forward. There will be some maintenance, repair, and smaller projects that inevitably will come up. But uh, we're really proud of the, uh, the 
it's uh, the, the investment that's been made in the ballpark uh, since uh, uh, we came to town has been uh, about, about two hundred eighty uh, five million dollars. So uh, this, this is the end of that major ten year period. So the question then is, do you step back into the ballpark and say, okay, we really have enough key maintenance, we really can't do anything any more razzmatazz? It's just getting to the, your bias for a new ballpark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that we're getting to. There are no. There are no. There are no new. There's no new ballpark in the, in the plans. So I have to say that. Uh, and if you have some thoughts on that or ways to finance it, or you should just start drinking and get over it. <laughs> John, can you describe the, the the middle of the night sequence of events that that led to the signing of Paul Crawford? Paul, Paul, you got in London, etc. Yeah, I think Tom was asleep. I was <laughs> awakened with 11 minutes left. It was some sort of deadline. Yeah, it was just So I was a little groggy. You probably remember it better. Yeah, there was a, there was a deadline. It was that the, the decision was going to be made at a certain time if they uh, were a really major competitor in the race. And uh, uh, Theo pulled, uh, pulled everyone uh, together. And they, uh, and uh, it was not entirely a surprise, of course, that was part of the, an off-season plan. And um, that's what I remember. John, the other day Theo talked about this team has not accomplished anything yet. Yet you're half, you're going out this year to prove you're not a third place team. How much was that a part of the message to the team today that while well, there's a lot of expectations, the team hasn't accomplished anything yet? Well, I I think that goes without saying. This is a group of professionals. Uh, they know they, they haven't accomplished anything. What we are on paper needs to translate into, into results. So uh, I think that's, this is the first day of uh, that translation. John, are you, are you content with the current, I guess, luxuries tax situation and given how much you spend in the off season, um, <laughs> would you now aim to see a salary? Cap or is the current situation what you want now? I don't think we're going to see that. So, uh, yeah, is the situation what? what well, I just would the like current to see? luxury. I know in past no. you've had your your thoughts about what you would like, but given I don't think your, that I, don't, I think that's going to be determining the factors. Your guys, uh, Brian Cash said a couple weeks ago that the Red Sox were the favorite. Right now, I think he was right with that assumption. Yeah, he's such Is this the first time, gentlemen, that you can recall where you guys are the clear favorite over the Yankees in, in your ten years of ownership? I don't see us as a clear favorite. I see the teams as fairly evenly matched, so we've got our work cut out for us to, to hope to win the division. That's just the way. Yeah, I feel the same way. It, 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 there are other teams that are improving in this division. This is just not a uh, mano a mano two team uh, match. We've got other teams uh, that, are, that are building a, a solid team and making uh, substantial commitments to those teams. So uh, the American League East will still be the... Uh, Rough and tumble American League East. Let's make no mistake about that. John, you talk, do you want to add I, I agree with Larry. John Farrell is a terrific manager, and I think Toronto's going to be stronger this year. And uh, I don't discount Tampa. I think that uh, adding uh, Ramirez is a very smart move, and uh, Johnny Damon. And uh, we don't want to just simply focus on the Yankees. I also don't remember when we were sitting here in 2005 and 2008, I think people thought that. Uh, we might have repeated as world champions, but uh, I mean we're confident. But uh, the, the Yankees are, are every bit as strong as, as they always are. 